In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile a prepayment on Xero. The first thing you need to do is to log into your Xero account and then head to the dashboard. Now from here, we can either go to accounting and then select bank accounts. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab real quick. And then select the account that you need to reconcile the prepayment from. So we have here the reconcile 27 items under the business bank account. Or alternatively, we can also access this on our dashboard, provided that we have this visible from the dashboard section, which should be around here. And as we can see, we also have the reconcile 27 items from here. This will allow us to directly go to our transactions where reconciliation is needed. So again, you can choose either. This will be easier to access. Now from here, we're just going to look for the prepayment transaction that we wish to reconcile. So for example, we have here the Jacaranda Maple Systems, which is a adv an advanced deposit for uh, 2000. Now, what we're going to do from here is just look for the create tab right beside beside the transaction. And then once you're on the create tab, just click the add details at the bottom right of this section. And then we're going to be inputting some details to reconcile our prepayment. Now from here, instead of received as direct payment, we're going to change this into prepayment. And then uh, once you're certain that the details are accurate and the same as the one in the original transaction, we're just going to change the account into revenue received in advance. This will auto populate the tax rate to tax exempt. And once that's done, we're just going to click on save transaction. And now we have a registered prepayment that matches the Jacaranda Maple Systems transaction we have. And since the totals match, we can already go ahead and click on reconcile over here or click OK right between the two matching transactions over here. Once that's done, the prepayment will be reconciled to the corresponding invoice and it should be good to go. And that's about it. That's how you reconcile prepayments on Xero. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.